Hello, and we are back to Public Enema Plays, wrapping up Cthulhu Saves Christmas. So last time we defeated Krampus, who was allegedly the last member of Christmas Evil, and then a eldritch horror that was pulling the strings behind the scenes. And uh, But Christmas Eve is still recurring. Santa's free, but nothing's really changed yet, so I think we'll probably finish up the game here, I would think, in this session, but still a little bit of unresolved business to take care of. I decided to spend some time with Crystal. We've really come a long way. When I first met you, you were an annoying solipistic monster. So, solipsistic? Thanks for noticing. And you still are an annoying solipsistic monster, but I guess I don't mind it as much now. I know your true love doesn't really show up until the next game, but in another game with another script. No. That's crazy talk. Another fun side effect of hanging out with me. Here, I want you to have this. An unmeltable icicle. An icicle transforms into a cloak. Got a Christmas cloak, an accessory for Crystal that guarantees certain insanity abilities at the start of battle. I just want you to know that no matter what happens, I'll always be your friend and ally. Senses that I have forged a lasting relationship with the Snow Maiden Crystal. Now let's finish this incredibly silly game together. I like how she gives me a gift, but it's an accessory for her. Alright. See if we can max out relationship with Baba here. I was hoping you'd visit. You're going to figure out how to beat this game, boss. I know you will. But then what'll I do? I know the stories say I'm going to grow up to be a mean old hag, but I wonder. I've kind of gotten used to this whole hero shtick. Maybe I should stick with it. I could wander the countryside in my chicken hut, righting wrongs and vanquishing evil. People would regale each other with tales of my valor while sipping eggnog and eating omelets. Baba Yaga the heroine has a nice ring to it. Or I could just go full-blown evil and terrorize small children. Haven't decided yet. Weighing the pros and cons. Alright, we have forged a lasting relationship with the chicken aficionado. Baba Yaga-chan. Take this. I made it myself. Cthulhu receives a necklace with a beautiful gold egg attached. If you don't want to wear it, you can always give it back. Could have some useful, useful effects in combat. A true egg. And again, a uh, present for me that's really a present for you. Chicken power can go up to 400%. Alright, well, let's see. Get this swift dress. This time, Crystal and Baba Yaga are both at the movie theater. I wasn't planning on coming today, but Baba insisted that I come with her. They're playing the best movie today, Alyssa LaSalle, Space Cop of the Future. I thought this movie theater only played Christmas movies. It takes place around Christmas. I'll take it. That had absolutely nothing to do with Christmas, but it took place near Christmas. No, it didn't. They didn't mention a Christmas a single time. You can see that it's almost Christmas if you look at the calendar in the back of Alyssa's office. That was one scene, and I didn't even see a calendar in that room. So it was small, so what? I really like the scene where she piloted a giant mech to fight a space toad. And how about the scene in that abandoned police station full of zombie police officers? So creepy. I really wish there was a video game where we could see even more of her amazing adventures. <laughs> Yeah, it'd be awesome if such a thing existed. They could call it Cosmic Star Heroine and release it on multiple platforms. Yes, but sadly, such an amazing game is but a mere dream It doesn't exist right now for a paltry sum. <laughs> Seriously, buy Cosmic Star Heroine, most likely available at whatever store you bought this game from. For no reason whatsoever, a stranger hands Cthulhu a new piece of equipment. Get a swift dress for Baba and increases her speed. That was funny. Like eventually I will get around to Cosmic Star here when on this channel it's been sitting and like I own it on Switch and then also PC and we've just been well this dress looks like it is better so we'll keep that equipped but eventually I will get around to it probably on PC let's see Ooh, Eldritch Tunic. That sounds like something worth getting. Send the party to complete the task. 
We left Christmas Land and we started to miss you. Seriously, boss, why don't you ever come with us on these things? I had a good feeling about staying here. We thought about all of our amazing adventures and discovered the power of nostalgia and the power of friendship and the power of chickens. It was a big success. Ooh, immune to ailments. All right, I guess we're out of time. Four more days of relationship building and it's still not Christmas. Maybe that wasn't the problem. Of course it wasn't the problem. You just like seeing me suffer. I've been thinking about the situation some more and I think I may have an answer. What exactly is the problem that we're facing here? This game just won't end. Not enough chickens? Time is standing still. That, there's the rub of the matter. Time won't progress. And how is that supposed to help us solve anything? Think. What Christmas novel is about time manipulation? How should I know? I'm Cthulhu. I don't read Christmas novels. Maybe if I ever got any Christmas presents, someone might have given me a Christmas book to read. A Christmas Carol. That's it. And who in the Christmas Carol is the most sinister being of them all? Ebenezer Scrooge. I thought you didn't read Christmas books. I saw the movie. No, Ebenezer Scree Scrooge is powerless. Besides, he's reformed at the end. That's the whole point of the book. The ghost of Christmas present is jovial. The ghost of Christmas past is nostalgic. That only leaves the ghost of Christmas future. Well, well, well. I never thought you'd figure it out. This timeline tires me. Let's speed things up to their natural conclusion. I don't know what day it is. Behold, a future without Santa. Where is everyone? A world full of damned souls seeking my guidance, yes. You're going to die, yes. You're not going to repent. Yes, I'm going to laugh at your misfortune here. I am the end. What's happened to you? You used to be so nice under that grim facade. I'll tell you what happened. I saw the ultimate future. With the joy of Christmas influencing the world year after year, not just individuals got better. Humanity improved. Eventually, with no more lost souls, I was out of a job, and with no need for my services, my existence ended. But here, my existence is secure. Here, I reign supreme. But at what cost? You've lost your soul. Nobody destroys the world but me. Do you hear that? I'm ending this. If you make it past my minions, you're welcome to try. You'll fail. I've already seen it happen. This world is a shadow of things that may be only. Why show us this if you are past all hope? We're going to beat some sense into you. If you want to accept death with grace, then so be it. Death without honor, it is. You'll rue the day you ever met me. Do things the hard way. It all ends the same way. Okay. Let me do the Eldritch Tunic. And we have what I think is our final dungeon. what kind of minions we have to deal with. Soylent. Cheap and tasty. Try one today. And the neutralizer. Neutralizes you mostly. So that's weak to earth and poison. They're all weak to poison, so let's start with that. And we will go with... Let's go and do wind damage on everybody. Sinister new music, at least, for the dungeon. Dark. Watch out for the silent E. Alright. I want to hit points again. Tentacle attack. How much hit points are we looking at here? Alright. So, that's pretty good.
Hmm. We can stun this guy. Nope. Alright, that's insane. Let's leap to Earth so we can probably kill that. Ah, nope, still kicking. There we go. dark damage to all enemies. Yeah, we can get rid of... Let's get rid of the antidote. Might be a good weapon for Baba Yaga to hold on to. Right, what's this guy in the back? Apocalypse Mage. Some people just want to watch the world burn. Again. Start with some poison. Earth attack. Ah, disarm. That's not great. Let's do some dark damage. That is pretty weak. not see the ghost of Christmas future being the uh, the ultimate bad guy here. That was a little bit of a surprise. How do I get over there? Ah. Toxic waste so poisonous. It's a fire. It's effective. Ice on those guys. I knew she had that hurricane spell. I might equip that over the wind slash. It's probably an upgrade. 
I'm gonna make that insane so I can get it with fire attack. Let's go with uh, uh, Oh no, she's poisoned too. died yet. Mighty Peck. So let's see about her abilities. Biting Winds is 100% wind damage. Well, I guess that Hurricane's maybe one I can't equip. one of the random ones. Oh well. Apocalypse Cloak for Crystal. It looks like it's on fire. Chick Thulu. Ah, Eldritch Sword. Extra damage to insane enemies. Wow, that is uh, definitely an upgrade. A lot of big time mobs. so close to dying. Thank you. 
go. Alright, continuing on. Kinda looks like we're hanging out in the middle of space or something. Wand for crystal. Keep the frozen one. She'll be a little bit stronger with her ice attacks that way. Gonna be enough to kill that guy. Oh, his uh, dark attack's a little bit stronger than Baba's. Let's see, treasure chest hiding over here, maybe? Nope, we just went in a big circle. That's all. Sanity sword is pretty nice. There's a chest up here. Nope. There we go. stunned. and took care of it there. Alright, nothing up here. 
There we go. Your weapon for Baba. Increased wind damage sounds like a good idea for her. Insane, so we can do ridiculous damage with uh, Cthulhu now. physical damage, 25. Ah, so that's a good one to kind of hold on to. Hundred percent physical damage times two when they're enraged. That's a handy one to have too. I feel like I missed something. so close to killing them all. That'll do it. Oh, they've been up here. Did I miss something up here? No. Oh well. I'll leak to Earth. Almost got them all. Easy enough. Now, where did I miss? I turn off to the next area.
the hell did I miss the turn off? That's where I came up from. Watch me wander around. but I would think that's probably our last level up. But how the heck do I get out of here? Ah. That was dumb. No branches so far. Is this uh, the boss corridor? Metal whip. to see here. Alright, cosmic dress for Baba. Makes you feel like a... <laughs> the cosmic dress makes you feel like a real heroine. They really lean into that uh, Cosmic Star heroine game. We'll get there. connect or did I just take the wrong way? Hope they connect. Gold coat for Belschnickel. Of course you get the experience boosting armor right before what is probably the final boss. Alright. Let's save and uh, Give it a shot. You made it how expected. And now it's time to end it. Cthulhu performs a mighty attack and misses. What happened? The game doesn't have accuracy check. I can see every attack you make before you make it. With that knowledge, it is a simple matter to ensure that I'm elsewhere. Cthulhu performs another mighty attack and misses. How am I supposed to kill you if I can't hit you? 
You can't face it. I'm better than you. I'll never face that. Cthulhu reigns supreme even when he doesn't. Then die. Ah, no, we can't let it in like this. How can we defeat something that knows what we're doing before we do it? What's the plan, boss? I don't have one. Perhaps I can help. Narrator, you stay out of this. I've always been a fan of Christmas presents, and I've been especially good this year. Take that. The ghost of Christmas future is suddenly beset with visions of every possible future simultaneously. Too much information. Make it stop. Now's your chance. Fight while its powers of prediction are disabled. This is it. Our final chance to shine. League of Christmas Evil members, come to me. I summon thee from the depths of the beyond. Oh well. So we fight everyone. Mary Lloyd, Jack Frost, Christmas Future, the Yule Cat, and the Mouse King. All question marks. Let's start a little poison. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and take that guy out. One less to worry about. Yeah, certainly coming pretty hard. He's almost dead. It's weak to wind. It's weak to earth. Thing's not engraged. I wouldn't use it anyway. Oh man. Let's, uh. Hmm. Temp damage and chicken up. Party ailment up 50% charge. Do a uh, party deal. speed up while we can. Do a party heal here. There we go. Now we're in better shape. Charm did not work. Recharge. Re 
charge. Should have done a lot more damage than what it did. All right, stunned. Perfect. Not vulnerable. Let's see if we can make it insane. That's 100% charge. Ah, oh, that can probably kill it too. Let's uh, let's see. Yeah, let's end this with Chick through the wheel. All right, still getting experience. Is there another boss to come? A lot of experience up to 42 sub zero 160 percent ice damage double damage and stay alive if hp is negative we won strike that i won how could i have been so blind by the power of your blows i've seen the error of my ways yay it's a super happy ending i now see clearly that this future was never meant to be let me return you to your own original time I will no longer tamper with the flow of time for my own purposes. Cthulhu and this party are returned to December 24th, and a new day begins. And it is now Christmas. Cthulhu finds a gorgeously wrapped present, and it looks like Santa has been here. Tears off the wrapping paper, and inside is a small letter. Thank you for all your help. Come see me, and you'll get what you most desire. Oh boy, I am so excited. But first, you better check in on some of the wonderful relationships you developed over the course of the game. Do I have to? Is it Crystal? I can't believe we actually did it. I know I said I believed in you, but I'm not sure I ever really did. Yes, you're the star, but you're also a hideous monster who wants to destroy everything. You see why I can have my doubts. But you rescued my grandfather and saved Christmas, and I hope you learned something along the way. I can assure you that I learned absolutely nothing. Haha, <laughs> I wouldn't expect nothing. I would expect nothing less from you. And yet, methinks the Ancient One doth protest too much. I don't know if we'll ever meet if we'll meet again after today. Grandfather is already planning on dimensionally shifting our city beyond your reach. Just don't forget us when you get your powers back, okay? Cthulhu decides to visit baby Baba Yaga. Hey boss, check out the sweet haul I got this year. Baba's chicken legged hut is chock full of presents. I hadn't even had enough time to open them all yet. That's how many there are. And Santa didn't leave out Cluck Cluck. So many cute outfits to dress up in. I wonder if Santa's planning on sending me this many presents every year. If not, I'm going to have to have a little talk with the big man, if you know what I mean. Cthulhu decides to visit Belschnickel. A visitor? How nice. Oh, it's just you, Cthulhu. I usually try to have a low-key Christmas, and thanks to Santa being reinstated, I can do just that. 
I know you don't appreciate all of our strange traditions, but keep an open mind. Who knows, maybe you could celebrate Christmas in Riley this year. Come up with your own traditions. Go see Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. I was wondering when you'd show up, Cthulhu. Power. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I was worried at first about granting you your wish, but my granddaughter insists it's for the best. Something about preserving the timeline between prequel and main game. <laughs> oh, kids these days with their time paradoxes. Now promise me that you'll only use these powers for good. I promise. You just lied, didn't you? Totally. Very well. A promise is a promise. Here are your pow- Wait! Baba, what are you doing here? Don't do this. Just because our stories make us out to be evil doesn't mean we have to become villains. Haven't you had more fun in this game than you ever did asleep in Raleigh? It has been fun, but I cannot deny my destiny. Yes, you can. You can choose who you will become. No one else can do it. Let him go. What? It'll all turn out for the best in the end. Trust me, I've seen the next game. Sometimes a temporary setback is necessary for ultimate victory. Trust us. Enough preaching. It's time to end this. Cthulhu finds himself back in Relier. My power. It's all coming back. Time to destroy the world. <laughs> the end. The story continues in Cthulhu Saves the World. Alright, I didn't realize this was a, uh, a prequel to Cthulhu Saves the World. Do you want to replay the game? Oh, we could do a, uh, a new game plus. But I'm going to say it's time to quit. I think I've had my fun with this game. So that was it. Alright, well, we made it in time for Christmas with a few days to spare. That was a, a fun, silly short kind of perfect type of game for this time of year um so i'm glad i played through it uh this is probably the last game i'm going to record for the year take a little bit of break and get back started after the new year but uh, i do have some things in in works for the channel so a uh, a video working on a video for the like my most anticipated games of 2023 so that'll probably drop between now and new year's but as far as let's play goes we'll probably break for at least a couple of weeks but Thanks for joining. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you have a very happy holidays, and I will see you in the next game. Thanks. Bye.